Eric moaned, and I could tell quickly that he was once again pleased to be in such a close contact. He began to move a little, and there wasn't a lot I could do about it. His left arm was keeping me firmly clamped against him, and his right arm was, after all, feeding me. It was still hard not to be icked out by the process. But Eric was definitely having a good time, and since with every pull I felt better, it was hard to argue with myself that this was a bad thing to be doing. I tried not to think, and I tried not to move myself in response. I remembered the time I'd taken Bill's blood because I needed extra strength, and I remembered Bill's reaction. Eric pressed against me even harder, and suddenly he said, Ah, oh, and relaxed all over. I felt wetness against my back, and I took one deep last draw. Eric groaned again, a deep and guttural sound, and his mouth trailed down the side of my neck. Don't bite me, I said. I was holding on the rem remnants of my sanity with difficulty. What had excited me, I told myself, was my memory of Bill, his reaction when I'd bitten him, his intense arousal. Eric just, ha Eric just happened to be here. I couldn't have sex with a vampire, especially Eric, just because I found him attractive, not when there would be such dire consequences. I was just too strong out to enumerate those consequences to myself. I was an adult, I told myself sternly. Sure, adults don't have sex just because the other person is skilled and pretty. Eric's fangs scraped my shoulder. I launched myself out of that bed like a rocket. Intending to locate the bathroom, I flung open the door to find the short brunette vampire, the one with the curly hair, standing just outside, his left arm draped with clothes, his right raised to knock. Well, look at you, he said, smiling and he certainly was looking. He burned his candle at both ends, apparently. You needed to talk to me? I leaned against the door frame, doing my best to look wan and frail. Yes, after we cut your beautiful dress off, Russell figured you'd need some clothes. I happen to have these in my closet, and since we are the same height... Oh, I said faintly, I'd never shared clothes with a guy. Well, thank you so much. This is very kind of you. And it was. He'd brought some sweats, powder blue, and socks, and a silk bathrobe, and even some fresh panties. I didn't want to think about that too closely. You seem better, the small man said. His eyes were admiring, but not in any real personal way. Maybe I'd overestimated my charms. I am very shaky, I said quietly. I was up because it was on my way to the bathroom. I was back in the bedroom within 15 minutes. Curly was gone, Eric was dressed, and Baba was back. Eric did not say one word about the embarrassing incident that had, hap that had taken place between us. He eyed the rope appreciatively but silently. Baba has scoped out the territory, Suki, Eric said, clearly quoting. Baba was smiling, his slightly lopsided smile. He was pleased with himself. Miss Suki, I found Bill, he said triumphantly. He ain't in such a good shape, but he's alive. Mm. Are there other buildings? Could I get confused? There's a swimming pool, Miss Suki, and it's got a little building right by it for people to change into their bathing suits. And there's a great big tool shed. I think that's what it's for, but it's separate from the garage. Eric said, What part of the garage is he being kept in? Baba said, The room to the right side. I think maybe the garage used to be stables and the rooms where they kept the saddles and stuff. It isn't too big. How many are in there with him? Eric was asking some good questions. I could not get over Baba's assurance that Bill was still alive and that I was very close to him. They got three in there right now, Mr. Eric. Two men and one woman. All three are vamps. 
She's the one with the knife. I shrank inside myself. Knife, I said. Yes, ma'am. She's cut him up pretty bad. This was no time for falter. I'd been priding myself on my lack of screamishness earlier. This was the moment to prove I'd been telling the truth to myself. We both looked at Baba simultaneously. Those werewolves have been on your trail? They'll be guarding Bill when the vamps go to sleep. But tonight is the full moon, I said. They'll be worn out when it's their turn to take over. If they show up at all. Eric looked at me with some surprise. You are right, Suki. This is the best opportunity we are going to get. We talked it over some more. Perhaps I could act very weak and hole up in the house, waiting for a human alley of Eric's arrive from Shreveport. Eric said he would call the minute he got out of the immediate area on his cell phone. Eric said maybe Alcide could lend a hand tomorrow morning.